I like to hurry up and get up to my weight today. We're doing 765 for three rounds for a top set. starting to realize like oh this is about to fly within a year we went from 800 to 900 pounds <laughs> but that's that's training that's programming that's not um even like today you'll see the text message i'm like hey can i do 800 for three he's like no 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 stick with the program and absolutely um when i got the opportunity to train with joe it was a case of it was an opportunity that i was not missing out on so no expectations tonight. We're gonna to go by how we feel. We'll see how things feel. Um, I always come in here with a couple of numbers in my head just because I like to see things before I actually get into it. But at the same time, when I'm warming up, see how I feel on the new bars and the weights, etc. But in a place like this, we've got to show up. And especially when Joe's here, we're gonna show up. <laughs> get up to my weight today we're doing 765 for three rounds for top set uh, i'll leave my guy always here with me so we usually do uh i'll go one plate each side and three plates each side and five plates i don't recommend you know everyone to do that i like to take big jumps so that's not uh that's not for everyone like i said but uh, i'm gonna do the same thing today but i'm gonna let him work in between while i uh, take my big jump so. Wow. Yeah. Ah. Good job. 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 Good job
<laughs> so close. No. Is that PR? Nah, man. No? Okay. Um, done a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but again, I, I don't know what it was. Yep. The, I'm trying to be explosive, but okay. not be explosive. I got you. Um, I'm, I'm working up for to that on that side. Yeah. Okay. Like, I've seen you be gentle with it. Yep. The slack. Yep. And then pulling really hard with it. Oh, yeah. Um, like, everything I do is like a mental thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people don't even realize, like, hang on. Like, even when I do this, yeah. like, that's a mental thing. Because when I do that, I'm already thinking, that feels light. So I do that, I'm like, that feels light. But when I get down there, and I'm pulling the slack out, you know, obviously I'm getting my grip, but any any additional slack you can pull out, obviously you already know the better, because when you're like, and I'm not talking about like this. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, like pulling the slack out. And dude, when you pull that slack out, it makes, a ton of difference. That's, that's something that I've really had to learn over the past year yeah. has been releasing the slack before I pull. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I used to just literally go in, yep. boom, yep. and especially on a Texas deadlift bar, yep. so much wet. Like on five plates, I'll pull the slack out, but I'll do it so hard that the weight will come off the ground. I don't mean to do that, but you know, and I'm not trying to deadlift right there, but I'm just pulling the slack out, so. You know, so when I'm pulling it off, I mean, obviously you can see it already, the weight wants to come off, but it makes a hell of a difference when you're doing that, so, but it's like, pulling the slack out, it's not a, it's not a gentle thing, like, that's when the aggression is kicking in, that's when the mindset's kicking in, and when you pull the slack out, you start to realize, like, oh, this is about to fly. First time, um, deadlifting here in Destination, yeah. we've been traveling all over, so I've been, like, trying to stay on a, on a Texas bar, sure. um, but there's been multiple times where we've kind of went yep. deadlift bar, step bar, deadlift bar, step yep. bar, but yep. I'm happy with that tonight. And I've never trained for, yep. I just like to come in and train back in deadlift. Absolutely, for sure. Um, yeah. But, yeah, you're like me, man. What's the goal? What do you want to get up to? I would like an 800 pound bull. Yeah, I mean, you're um, close. Don't get me wrong. Yep. I, I know I would have to train for it. Yeah. Um, but I think it's going to be there at some point. Yeah. Um, it's just, I'm not sure. It's like, See the training for something like a, rep, a one rep yep. max kind of thing. Yep. Um, knowing that I would have to kind of jeopardize a little bit of my bodybuilding style training that I enjoy a lot. Yep. I think in my head mentally it's like yep. I don't want to do that. But at the same yep. time I'm like I would I would like an 800 pound bull. That makes sense. And I would say the only time it's really jeopardizing a PR like that is like if, if you're getting like super lean. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but obviously that's that's what I like. I still like to look like a bodybuilder yeah, yeah, yeah. and still do freaky strong PRs. Uh, or it would jeopardize your bodybuilder if you're on a calorie deficit, course, you know, course, training regimen with your nutrition. Yeah, but yeah. I'm all for I'll do 800 pound deadlifts, you know, for real, four weeks yeah. out from the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, while I was low body fat the whole night. You know. I think I. I I done like 280 kilograms for six, yep. which yep. under a 327, I'm not sure, sure what it is in pounds, but it's yep. close enough. Yeah. Um, that was my best a couple of weeks out, yep. and I was happy enough to hold on to that. So, for sure. Um, but at the same time, consistent pulling. Um, yep. I've done a 300 for six. Okay, good. So yeah, it's damn good. It's, that's where my kind of top ends are. Yeah. Um, when I'm on a really good, uh, no. Nope, no nope. I've got a nutrition, I've got some, somebody who does my nutrition on yep. Brett, yep. Um, but off season, I, yep. I do it myself. Tra well, and trading wise, I've always done it myself. I would definitely, working with Josh, I started at, uh, I mean, my form was shitty, but I started at, uh, you know, I was doing 800 pounds, but my form was not good. And then I started with Josh, and it went like within a year we went from 800 to 900 pounds <laughs> but that's that's training that's programming that's not um even like today you'll see the text message i'm like hey can i do 800 for three he's like no 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 stick with the program you know if it was up to us we'd probably try to pr maybe every other week but that's, yeah, yeah that's that's, that's, that's that's probably my downfall because i'm always coming in and I might not PR every single session, but I'm always trying to max out for, yeah. say, a double, a triple, yeah. five or six or right. something like that, yeah. pretty much every back session. Yeah. Um, I've never done the kind of, I don't want to say reps in reserve, but yeah. I've never done the 
just do this today. Okay, for sure. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, because it's um, when I've been on with his program, it's like, you know, he'll do a PR, but not necessarily a single rep PR. I'm talking about like a heavyweight for two or three reps. Yeah. And then we'll do a back off. And it's, it's different every time because sometimes I see me working and I'll look at him like, man, what the fuck is this? Like, and I'm not as motivated to do a light weight, yes. but it makes sense. You have to follow the program. So that it, it all goes hand in hand with the PR. You know what I mean? And then obviously there's like, I have accessory work to do. So I'm gonna do, we can do that. I'm gonna do a uh, lap pull downs, yep. T-bar rows, yep. maybe a uh, dumbbell rows. But uh, it's always a, uh, matter of fact, I think we gotta do a back off set. But, uh, it's always deadlifts first, and then about five accessory movements after that. So we'll actually do that. So but we don't hear talking. Let's finish up. Badass back workout over here at Destination. I got my buddy down here from Scotland. <laughs> Strong guy, man. How old are you? 20, 25. 25 years old, man. Already pulled in 700 for reps. That's pretty damn impressive. Thank so you, man. he wants the goal of 800. That's going to happen in no time. So see if we can link him up with some coaching, of course, in the future. And like I said, man, that's the way I went from 800 to 900 pounds was coaching. And, uh, you know, Josh was even able to correct a lot of things with my form to hold on. But Program, 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 just like bodybuilding. So always helps no matter your knowledge to help have a coach with bodybuilding. Same thing with powerlifting for PR goals as well too. So you're so impressive, man. I want to present you with something. Oh, man. <laughs> you can see it right there. Ali, you're gonna open it up. Let me see if I can, matter of fact, you open it up. Try to rip that thing open. There you go. There you go. Now my plates are gonna stay on the bar. I set up your own mat clamps, man. I wanna present those to you, man. Those are, uh, you know, some baddest clamps around right now, so definitely want you to have them out there where you're at in Scotland. Thank you, man. And uh, I appreciate that. You deserve thank it, you man. For the session, man. Absolutely, man. What do you got? Come on. Come on. This is a really, really, really cool environment, let alone anything else. But to be able to train with Joe, to be able to deadlift with Joe, that was all. There's one thing that, I know we mentioned it last time whenever I was out, and that's been over a year ago now. So to be able to put this into, to, to actually press the action button and make it happen is a really cool moment. This place is just different. It's different, man. It's different. There you go, These man. These are gonna help me get the 800. Absolutely, man. Along with releasing the slack from the bar. <laughs> Man. Oh! 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 
Last pull I did was 9-10 at CT Fletcher's event. So, you know, when you're going from 9-10 to 9-15, five pound difference, you know, is a, is a big difference. Five pounds doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're doing over 900 pounds, even when you're doing over 800 pounds, you know, when you're getting up in weight like that, you know, people say all the time, like, oh man, it's only 90 more pounds. You could do a thousand. It's not that easy because uh, you feel the weight. And just think about doing 900 pounds, you know, every other month. It's uh. It's a lot of weight, yeah, yeah, but uh, that's the goal. Of course, we're still gonna go for a thousand and uh, train smart, of course. But in the same time, I am uh, back working with my coach uh, Milos and Ray up here at Destination. Uh, Milos is in Las Vegas. My powerlifting coach is uh, Josh Bryant with Joe Health Strong. So I got about three coaches that help me with everything that I'm trying to do. Uh, so, like I was telling you, uh, be smart with your training, of course. You know, I think a lot of people have had mentors of mine in the bodybuilding world tell me all the time, like, hey, Joe, if you're going to pull so heavy, get fat or gain weight. Well, you know, by the grace of God, I have, have not been injured, of course. And, uh, you know, I've been able to also sustain a good shape at the same time, at the same time while pulling some good weight. But listen to your body. You know, another thing I do is get work done, yeah. Yeah. Uh, tissue work done every other week. Thank my massage therapist, Tammy, for that. And, uh, you know, it's just like when you, when you, when you, when you build your body down training. Of course, you know you have to do the right things. Of course, as you know, with nutrition, rest and recovery as well too. So, uh, definitely the best of both worlds. But I'm pretty sure that you can achieve both of them. Thank you, man. Absolutely. I appreciate that, man, a lot. Yeah. Thank you, man. Absolutely.